In this section of the course, we're going to be talking about how to say no gracefully. You know, time is a zero-sum game. Every time you say yes to some, something, you are automatically, by doing so, saying no to something else. When you're implementing your comprehensive life plan, it's really important that you focus on the things that are really important towards achieving the goals that you set in your life plan when you allocate the time that you use to the things that go on in your life. And so learning how to say no gracefully and being effective in saying no is a very important part of the process. There is a book out there that I uh, I'm going to include the link to in our weekly lesson. Uh, it's called The Power of Positive No, How to Say No and Still Get to Yes. It's written by Harvard professor William Urey. And uh, in that book, he talks about three different kinds of responses that you can use to someone who asks you to do something that you don't want to do. The first one is called accommodation. Uh, and when we use this kind of response, we say yes when we want to say no. It usually comes when we value the relationship of the person making the request above the importance of our own interests. Number two, the response is the attack. And in this case, we say no very poorly. It's a result of valuing our own interests above the importance of the relationship with the person that we're involved with. Sometimes we can be fearful or resentful of the request and overreact to the person who is making it. And the third response is avoidance. In this response, we say nothing at all, or we just kind of change the subject and try to table it. We do this because we're afraid of offending the other party. We avoid the situation, hoping the problem will go away. The problem with that is, it rarely does. And so, none of these three methods are effective in helping you say no and get the things done that you want to do that are important in your life. Now. Sometimes these three responses spill over into one another, and we may end up using more than one of them. It just compounds the problem, and we end up still not getting done what it is that we want to do. There is a better way, though. Dr. Yuri suggests a fourth strategy that he calls a positive no. A positive no helps us avoid sacrificing either the relationship or our own priorities. It, it uses a yes, no, yes formula. In contrast to an ordinary no, which begins with a no and ends with a no, Dr. Yuri claims that the positive no begins with a yes and ends with a yes. And this is how the elements work together. First, the first yes is the positive no begins by saying yes to yourself and protecting what's important to you. Also, at this point, you can affirm the person who is making the request from you. It then moves on into a matter of fact no that sets clear boundaries. Now, we recommend that you avoid leaving the door open by saying maybe or Perhaps, as in maybe I can say yes to your request in the future. Set the boundary solidly. Make it clear that there is a no, it is a no and it will remain a no. And then follow up by finalizing everything with another yes. This last yes affirms the relationship and offers another solution to the person's request. Now, for example, one of my mentors, Michael Hyatt, who is a leadership and productivity expert, uh, is a, worked many, many years in the publishing field. And he receives a lot of requests from new authors to review books that they have written. 
Um, he doesn't have time for that anymore. He's extremely busy doing the consulting that he is doing now. And so uh, one of the, uh, some of the information that we're using in this course comes from one of his books called Living Forward, which is also available on the website within uh, the course and also available on the Growth University website. But I'm going to share uh, an example of a letter that he wrote to someone who sent him a request that he reviewed their book. It says, Bill, congratulations on your new proposal. And this is the first yes. Very few authors make it this far. Thanks for your interest in having me review it. Now we're going to move to the no. Unfortunately, due to my other commitments, I'm no longer able to review book proposals. Therefore, I must decline. Very succinct, very plain, very clear. There is no question that it could be reversed. And then now moving to the final yes. However, I can give you some guidance on how to get it published. If you haven't already done so, may I recommend that you start by reading my blog post, Advice for First-Time Authors. In it, I offer step-by-step -step instructions for what to do first. I have also published an entire audio course called Get Published, which distills my 30 plus years of publishing experience into 21 learning sessions. So he offered not one, but two other alternatives that this author might be able to use to find out way, other ways of getting his book published. And then he finalizes it by reaffirming the relationship. I hope that you will find this helpful. Best wishes for your publishing success. Michael. Okay, this kind of atmosphere creates and continues the relationship that you have with the person, but it also makes it very, very clear that your limits are there and you have set the boundaries that you're going to maintain. It's a great way to control your life and to make sure that you're able to focus on the things that are important to you in achieving your comprehensive life. Thank you.